Well, I've decided to use the electric furnace. So, it's preheating right now. And we're going to load up the crucible. Uh, before I did, I don't know if you can see it, but I put a little, I put about a half ounce of cemented silver from a, from a batch, uh, from a normal batch. I don't know if you can see the, the difference in color. Uh, this stuff has just a few more impurities. But, with that said, let's get it loaded up. Still and all ready. Let that heat up and uh, yeah, we'll let that heat up and I'll be able to add a little bit more to it. Well, we're up to temperature. melted down in there so we'll add a bit more here. This is where you want to make sure your silver is completely dry. You add moisture into here and it's going to pop and explode out on you. Just in case you make a mistake or some other thing happens, you should be wearing a face shield, as I am right now. system for the last little bit here. I think it would be this.
All right, we'll let that come back up to temperature. And our next step will be to pour it into, pour it into shot. All right, we're back up to temperature. All our silver is melted. Time to pour it off, create our shot. We'll let that heat back up and pour it back off in a minute. We'll back up the temperature. The material should all be molten. Let's finish this pour here. I don't know if we're going to be thrilled with this shot. <laughs> Quite a bit bigger than normal. Alright, I poured off all that other, all the other water there. This is not typical of our shot. We want a lot of tiny little pellets like this stuff here. Normally when I pour this shot off, <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> it's cool just like that. Normally when I pull this shot off, pour this shot off, I have a 
five gallon steel pot that I filled with ice water and you get a uh, just a nice little circle going around and keep the temperature cool and you get some nice small pieces and at least like this you know a better consistency these big globs are kind of it'll still work for what we need here This system that I have, I, I usually use for gold, and it's perfect. It's, it's all you need. A nice, beautiful little shot. But this got this got the uh, water hot real quick. So, all right. So I am going to clean this stuff off. Uh, rinse it out in some some water here, and uh, we'll dry it off and get a weight. And our next step will be to set up the silver cell. We'll clean this stuff up, turn this into some silver crystal. Alright, our silver is dry. We can... Uh get a weight here two ounces yeah two ounces Six ounces right there. Well, that was close. That's zero out anyway. Six point seven ounces. So we had six, six point seven. And I'm gonna toss in another ounce. Ounce. Put another ounce of some previous stuff that I had left over from a prior run. All right. So we'll, we should end up with about uh, twelve ounces of pure crystal when we're done. Since uh, I think we're at around 13, we shouldn't lose more than an ounce from impurities that I'm fairly confident in. Well, here we are, huh? Next, we'll be taking this to the silver cell. We'll get that set up and put that out on our next video. I'm going to run a, this is going to be a trial run for me. I am going to run a silver cell out of this small vessel. Uh, usually we, we use something quite a bit bigger. However, when you use something so big, you're left with uh, quite a lot of electrolyte, which contains silver still. So at the end of the process, you drop that silver out of solution and you're left with a bunch of uh, cemented silver uh, which is fine you can use that next time to make your electrolyte uh, it does have some impurities so but what I would like to do is figure out a way where once I drop that this that's what this test warrant run was about once I drop uh, the silver from a larger experiment uh, I want to be able to take that extra powder or that extra cement uh, take it down into shot and refine it through something smaller where I'll be left with less electrolyte and uh, less uh, cement silver just sitting around 
Not that I can't find a use for it, but I thought it'd be a fun experiment. So hey, uh, if you made it from uh, video one all the way to here, I appreciate it. I, ho I hope it was enjoyable. I hope you learned a couple things. Um, I had fun doing it. Not as many complications running that dirty uh, scrap silver as I thought we might come across, but that's fine too. <laughs> it took long enough. Uh, it was fun doing a small run like that to be able to speed through it so quick. In three days, I'm all the way down to my final shot and, and headed towards the uh, silver cell. So that's that, that was kind of fun. Usually, it's a <laughs> it's a long process uh, when you're doing pounds and pounds of it. But once again, thank you very much for tuning in here. I, I really appreciate it. If you see anything uh, that you think I could do better. Uh, if you have any knowledge you want to share, please leave it in, in the comments. And uh, heck, I don't want to say it too often, but if you like this kind of stuff, subscribe. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot up some more videos soon, and hopefully I'll get better at making them. And uh, a couple likes from you guys would really help out, and uh, let me know that uh, people are enjoying it. Thanks again. I'm Jeff, and this is Lithic Metals. Uh, we'll see you next time.